What's good, my dudes, dudats, and folks of other dispositions? You can call me Nick. We're back at it again with Fire Emblem. And last episode, uh, we just took out a ballista, took out a couple uh, weapon triangle swapping dudes, and that's pretty much it. It was a, it was a pretty quick, cut and dry episode. Right now, we're gonna go look for Ellie Wood and get some advice from him when it comes to uh, what we should do next. So let's jump right in. A grim reunion. Lynn and her friends have been branded as traitors, pretenders to the throne. Lundgren has sent word, word to Kaylin's neighbors, warning them of Lynn's approach. He calls for reinforcements to put an end to the imposters. If the other realms of Lyncia chose to, choose to act, Lynn will never reach Kaylin alive. Lynn places her faith in Elliewood and waits. Can you hear my dog? Chimera, what are you doing? A grim reunion. She's rolling around on the carpet. I've received word from Kaylin's neighbors. Laws, Tuscan Tuscana, Catholic, Tania, and Santurez. <laughs> oh, a bunch of names, my worst nightmare. <laughs> they will not interfere in Kaylin's affairs. This they have promised. Elliewood, I don't know how to thank you. All I've done is convince them to remain neutral in this dispute. However, this means I cannot aid you in any way either. Will you be alright? I will. I have to. It's the only way that I can help my grandfather. I understand. Although I cannot help you directly as a friend, I pray for your success. Thank you. I won't waste the opportunity you've given me. Oh yeah, this level. All right, everyone, let's get going. This weather is turning foul. It looks like a fog is rolling in. This is no good. If the fog thickens, we'll be blind in battle. It will be difficult to fight what we cannot see. We can't let it delay us, though. Let us press on. We must get closer to the castle. What's the best route? Let me think. Our best path is to the south. However, that runs through General Eagler's estate. It looks like we still have one final obstacle to pass. Pick my units now. Okay, so uh, what we don't know about this map right now is that there will be, uh, I guess they did mention it, the fog that rolls in, um, which obscures the map. So you won't be able to see where the units are uh, once that happens. Uh, like, they'll hide in these woods and stuff, and I'm pretty sure there are reinforcements that come out of these fortresses. Um, yeah, definitely out of these ones as well. So, it's gonna be, uh, we don't know where people are sort of situation. So, um, we, or sorry, I rather took out the units that kind of suffer from surprise attacks, meaning basically the archers. Uh, especially Will, because his defenses are, uh, they're not bad actually, but he can't counterattack. So we're, we're, we're putting the people who can take damage and can counterattack on a regular basis up at the front because I don't think there's a lot of range units on this map anyways. Um, we got some magic users, users for if they need to step in for some quick, uh, powerful damage on physical fo foes. Florina is actually going to sit on top of this fortress for the most part. Uh, we're going to send this group up top, uh, Matthew and Kent, and then Lucius as well. Uh, and then everyone else is going down below. So, um, I think I did everything correctly. We're gonna save the game, because it's gonna suck if we lose. <laughs> and then we gotta go back to nothing. Nick, put me in the lead, please. Surely you know that we, uh, thieves, if you must, can see through fog. Follow me, everyone. Oh, hello. So you've come. Ah! You, you're Lord Wallace. Kent, who is this? He used to be the commander of the Knights of Kaelin. Aren't you supposed to be retired? I heard you were sowing fields now. I am, and I was. Then I received orders from Lord Lundgren. I was told to capture an imposter and a pair of rogue knights. Lord Wallace, surely you don't believe us to be oathbreakers, do you? Bring me the girl that claims to be Lady Madeline's child. What are your intentions? 
If I don't like what I see, I will take her. We will prevent you. You prevent me? You must be. Enough. I'm right here. I am Lindus. Ah. I'll understand if you don't believe me. But I've had enough of you and your few foolish posturing. Hmm. Such beautiful eyes. Pardon? I've been a knight for 30 years, and there is one thing I've learned. A person with eyes as bright and true as yours is no deceiver. <laughs> yes, I like you, girl. Why, I believe I'll even join your little band of mercenaries. Are you... are you serious? This old bull's pledged his loyalty to Kaelin. I would never allow an, 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 an usurper on the throne. Let's march. Lord Wallace, he... he hasn't changed at all. I like him. He's honest. That he is. He deserves our respect. I planned on living out my days in peace on, a, on my farm. Ah, well. It looks as though it's time to take up arms once more. Nick, you're the tactician of this group, correct? Yeah. What are my orders? Take the front line, baby. Ha ha ha! So you've noticed my night crest, have you? You've eyes like an eagle, my friend. Once I've used this crest, I'll be even stronger. A terrifying thought, isn't it? <laughs> what are you waiting for? Order me to use the night crest. All right, uh, but first, uh, I can't. Uh, I, I can't. Uh, I can't cancel out for whatever. Oh, all right. You want me to use the crest first? Without moving you, that's a waste of a turn, buddy. Lightning. He's evolved! Your Wallace has evolved into a general. Wow, look at those stat boosts, too. And we can use axes now. Ha ha ha! Look! A giant walks among you! My defense is impenetrable! Come! Break your weapons against me! <laughs> I forgot how much I liked Wallace. <laughs> Uh, Fog hasn't rolled in yet. I'm gonna take advantage of that and uh, just do a little sneaky, sneaky um, double move here with the same. Thanks, Nils. Appreciate it. And establish a front while we have um, the daylight in front of us. I know I really should let him come to me, but... One damage? Yeah. Negligible. Sane's got it covered. Um, and you can reach right there, which means we're gonna just tuck here. And tuck here. Uh, Lin, I'm gonna have you run into this village real quick. Hey, you! Do you have any torches? What? You don't? There's a thick fog rolling in and you have no torches? Wandering about without a torches. Well, it's ridiculous. Here, take one of mine. Use this when it's foggy and you can see a bit better. Hmm? No need for thanks. I know all about you and your comrades. We all, well, not one of us believes what Lord Lundgren is saying about you. We all want to help the Marquess and his rightful heir. Good luck. We got a freaking torch. Um, uh, da, 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 da. Kente also am interested in putting you as far as possible. Florina, we're sitting on this fortress, so we don't get troops in the middle. Um, I do want to send you up here as well. Sarah... I think we're going to need healing more on this bottom group than on the top group. I could be wrong about that. Alright, there's all the reinforcements. <laughs> Insane. As usual. Yeah, running some calculations here. You're no match for magic. that guy. Uh, the swordsman is uh, gonna be harder than he looks. Let me make sure he can't reach. Yeah. 
uh, because he's not a he's not an actual swordsman. He's a myrmidon, which is what Lin basically is. Uh, so he has a high crit rate and a high speed. In fact, actually Kent has a high speed as well, so he won't be doubling, which is a really good thing. Uh, and I want to attract his attention before he has that archer reinforcement. But I can't quite reach those woods, so we're gonna... We're gonna go right outside of his reach, so he comes as far as he possibly can in case we need to... No, we gotta establish just a little bit farther, because if I... Standing here versus standing here... If I stand right here and then he approaches, I can't bring in uh, Matthew as, as backup. Because he would be blocking this mountain, he would be basically a standing wall. If I put Kent here, he'll either, he'll either come here or here, and I can swing in with Matthew to clear him up, uh, and even use the trees to dodge arrows if I need to, which uh, Kent should be able to go for an archer. Um, in the meantime here, this guy, we probably outclass him with Sane. Yeah, I'd say so. Sword or Lance? Lance. And you have the Armor Slayer. Damn, I should have given you the Lance Reaver, which is what uh, Kent has. Oh well, can't win them all. Or at least can't win them all in the most optimal way possible. Uh, but we can win this encounter. Um, as long as no one else is within his range, uh, we should be fine. Yeah, so just keeping that in mind. And we don't want to attract this guy's attention either. I could start with a javelin, but uh, I'd rather just use the lance. Yeah. Yeah, let him come to me. Just an iron axe on this guy. Let's match him one for one. Uh, and then this guy... More intimidating than he actually really is. We'll just put Eric on him and, and deal with it later. Let's push Wallace to the front line. He... He will take a lot of experience. Or rather... It takes a lot, of, a lot of experience to level him up, so I won't be giving him too many of the kills because he doesn't have a lot of growth potential at this stage. Uh, but for attracting attacks, he's certainly going to be useful there. Let's get Lin up a little bit. Sarah out of the way, of course. Uh, just kind of in the mix of everything, so that way she can reach anyone who needs help. And Florina, just chill. Getting more complex. I love it. Yeah, you don't stand a chance. <laughs> Outclassed. Nice. I guess that's to be expected. <laughs> Actually, that is that is a little dangerous because he can get overwhelmed, uh, potentially. Nick, the fog's rolling in. We can't hit an enemy we can't see. Keep your eyes open, everyone. Well, it's a good thing we have our units spread out uh, and established now that the fog is in because uh, you can see a certain distance with each of them. Uh, we're going to finish off this guy real quick. And because we've already uh, scanned out where the reinforcements will fall, we can basically just leave our guys where they are. Um, Sane... I'd rather minimize the amount of attacks you have to do. Just to have total control on that situation. It is frustrating that they're in the trees, but uh, you're kind of doing a good job as is. Mm. Yeah, the goal here isn't to kill them as fast as possible yet. It's to hold the front and wait for reinforcements, because they're coming. A.K.A. Wallace. Although I will say, this guy can reach Dorcas now, can he? Nope, we're still good. Great! Strategy's working. Lynn. 
Right there is fine, yeah. Reinforcements are coming, same. Um, I want to put you where Nils is, but you aren't doubling here. So, we'll just double with Nils. Because that's where he's needed. Together you guys can do this. An unconventional strategy, to be sure, but... Anything to keep him at bay. Nice work, Eric. follow through with this here. Uh, as long as the horses can't reach him, they can, but they have lances. And in that case, don't look for the trees. Just take him up from up here. Yeah, just because rogues don't do a lot of damage doesn't make them useless. Sometimes all you need is just a little bit. And we can rush this archer. And we're doubling, which is great. Everything's going according to plan. Bernie, you're doing a great job there. Let's move Lucius up a little bit so he can respond uh, through the mountains if he needs to. Uh, no one really needs healing, right? Just touch up Wallace, I guess. You got a little bit of health in the level up, or the the promotion rather. Now we just need some healing. horseman went north instead of towards Sane. Yeah, I'm not worried about him getting surrounded, because he can retreat. Hello, Archer. I knew another one of you would come. but still possible. We'll take the same approach here that we are doing with Sane and just tuck into the trees with Kent and then if he needs to retreat, he can because he's a cavalry unit. Uh, where was that guy at? Right here. But the last one went here. So, actually, if I can bait an archer shot on a rogue in a house, that would be great. So visit this house. The forces of Kaelin are led by General Eagler. He's an honest man who has always treated us well, a good general. He must be aware of Lundgren's evil plans to seize control of Kaelin. I can only believe Lord Lundgren's holding someone dear to him as hostage. It's so sad, but there's nothing anyone can do. Why must so many innocents get hurt in this foolish game of nobles? Yeah, it's tough. Politics, right? <laughs> uh, now I'm thinking of politics. Happy place. We're playing video games. We're having a good time. Saint's doing his job. Um, Florina, I'm kind of tempted to see what comes out of that castle, but I'll leave it for now. Um, I'm gonna do this just because I know I can. Rip this guy. <laughs> Here's your backup. Alright, Lynn, I gave you the torch. So now we can see what's ahead of us. Great. <laughs> Let's do a quick attack with Dorcas, just in case he misses and then gets hit. And then we can heal him up. 
Yeah, the natural synergies with, uh, for example, healer and fighter, or bard and, um, bard and mage, like I'm doing over here. Oh, another guy didn't come out. I still think there could be someone else, though. We'll, we'll use Nil so he gets more experience here. And, like, a synergy with a rogue and a, and a cavalry unit, like, if you think about the advantages and disadvantages of each of them, they can... You can really pair units up and use them to the, their advantages. I would even say these two are paired up right now, uh, because Florina can always backtrack and, and help out there. Uh, Dorcas, put you on the front line again. Keep it up. Eric, wait. Who am I missing? Florina. That's it. End turn. One thing I didn't consider is, the, yep, that cavalry unit right there. Uh-huh, <laughs> uh-huh, uh-huh. I did miss that one. Not too concerned, though. I know his next attack could take him out, but if I really need to, I can Volerary. But looks like that won't be necessary when we have a double lance attack. In the end, we're all good. Yeah, I could have also, if I really needed to, rescued him with the cavalry unit. Still got enemies coming out this way. There's always solutions if you just take the time to think. Alright, Lin. Um, let's take it slow here you on the hand axe just in case someone comes at you with a hand axe, or a ranged item. Let's put you close to the front of these trees so we can keep you moving. And we do have more bandits coming in so we're gonna keep Nils on the back here with Eric. Nils, can you move through trees at natural speed? Because your movement's five. One, two, three, four, f one, two, three, four, five. Never mind. I thought he was out of range, just barely. Nice level up. And I could talk about what all the stats do. Um, maybe I should have done that at the beginning. <laughs> but. No, that's, that's something we don't need to go into at this point. Um, you are hurt. I'm going to have you run down to where the healer is. It's going to take a second, but uh, as long as nobody jumps us, we should be fine. Um, I'm going to put you here, Sarah, so he can come to you and you don't have to move very far. Yeah, a lot of decision-making uh, happens in these games that... Uh, people usually miss when they just watch it. Hello. You missed. Dorcas. Man, I love it when they get fast fighters. <laughs> rough, uh, rough level, though. Alright, looks like we're good on re reinforcements up top here. Um, let's cycle this way with our cavalry unit. I want to get close enough to look at that fortress. Looks like we're fine. Rogue, get next to the healer so she can heal you without getting too far from the rest of the group. And anyone who knows this game knows I'm not making the most optimal decisions as well. It's really interesting because I, I try to cater to the largest, or pretty much any, any audience, uh, simultaneously at the same time. <laughs> it's been quite, it's been quite the, uh, the journey, but, um, balancing everything. I actually want to heal you next turn. One, two, three, four, five. 
Let's put you where Lin is. Um, I'll just inch forward a little bit. Corina's just chilling on the fortress. Still getting reinforcements down in the bottom left here. Yeah, I try to cater to um, every audience. The people who haven't even seen this game before and the people who are familiar with it. Um, so it's hard to pick and choose what, what meets that balance, but... Uh, yeah, let's go! Critical magic spell! Hell yeah! Especially while I'm doing things. I, I, I think I have a tendency to do everything at the same time. <laughs> that might be a, a character trait that I have. <laughs> let's go, Dorcas. I had a feeling that you'd be able to handle whatever was in the fog there. And if the music changes... Oh, okay, it won't change. I was going to say, if the music changes, then that means that only the boss is left. Which means we can approach him. I did look at his weapons beforehand. He has a javelin and a hand axe. So... Mm, I think the strategy is just going to be who deals the most damage. We might go straight to him with our general, because uh, our general is a promoted unit, and he is also a promoted unit. He's a horse, whatever the cavalry's promote as. There we go. The music's changed. Let's see what you are, buddy. A paladin, that's right. There's his weapons. Um, And I just gave you a javelin as well, although I could give you the hand axe. No, the hand axe is pretty close to being done for. Uh, of course the Manny Caddy does well against cavalry units as well. Let's get a quick heal on Sane. I'm pretty sure we can move Florina now. At the end of the day, I could take my time to move all my units uh, here you don't have the javelin anymore, that's right. Oh, I can do this, actually. Here we go. I was going to say they take too long to move on their own, but I can carry them, so, yeah. Anyone else need carried? Uh, we could pick up Eric and then use Nils to spur Florina onward. I mean, we might as well just start chipping. I don't want to use the hand axe, though. Dorcas, because you can take damage, we're going to put you in there. The hammer's not going to do too much. It has a lower hit chance. So let's just have you... Yeah, take some hits, deal some damage. Hopefully, um... The outcome is good. Imposters to the throne, you shall not pass. No quarter for traitors. Mm. Mm, he's fighting back. Yeah, the, the obvious solution is stick Wallace in there and then have someone else get the kill. Um, da -da -dum -dum -dum. If he switches to the hand axe, though, I might have Lin go in there for the experience. Let's get these guys out of here. Get your healing. We got healing staves. By the dozen. Oh, the rogue isn't going to do anything in, the, in uh, this instance. <laughs> um, yeah, end turn. <laughs> oh, he did switch to his hand axe. Ah, Dorcas. That's okay. The fighters, uh, they don't have great accuracy, so let's change it up. I was kind of going for the bait into the hand axe anyway.
because I wanted Lynn to do her thing. The Manny Caddy. Um, I, it does look like he has the potential to kill her, though, so we're going to have him attack us. And then we have our general on standby if we need, as well as a couple of cavalry units. Lucius. I mean, we could hit him with magic, too. He's actually pretty resistant. Resistance 5. Yeah. Let's get all our options, though. Surrounding. Hey, Nils, you need some experience? <laughs> Thanks a ton. Can rogues move through trees faster? No, it doesn't look like it. Enter. Bring forth the imposter who calls herself Lindis. She shall not pass beyond this place. I am Lindis. I'm no pretender. I'd ask you to believe me, but your heart and mind seem set. Enough talk. Draw your sword. Gladly. I'm going for that crit, too. But it doesn't look like it happened. Normal sword doesn't do jack. Oh, he switched back to his... Oh, that, that makes sense, actually. Whatever. Eagler! General Wallace. So you sided with the girl, too, have you? I fight for Kaelin's honor, not for Lundgren's lies. Ah, is that so? You are... Enough! There's nothing more to be said. I name you traitors all. Come, do your worst! Fool. At the very least, let mine be the blow that finishes you. <laughs> Alright, Lynn. Do I want to give you the XP, or should I give it to somebody else? I think I should give it to someone else, to be honest. Alright, Lucius. You're a little low still. Um, if you miss, we can rescue you. Yeah. Go. Go quickly. The Marcus. He knows nothing of this. His life is... There's no illness, only poison. Please. For the Marcus. For all of Caleb. Wow, that gave a lot of experience. And we got a health point. <laughs> oh, it's a Seize the Throne mission. All right, Seize. What kind of a man was General Eagler? When Sane and I first became knights, he was our captain, our teacher. I think he must have known we were telling the truth. Why did he force the fight? Something must have... Lord Lundgren was exerting some hold on him. Eagler was trying to protect someone. A friend, perhaps? Or family? May Lundgren never know the peaceful embrace of Mother Earth. I care not what others do. I will stop that man. Nick, the final battle is approaching. Indeed it is. Indeed it is. Dun, 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 dun. How are you feeling today, my dear brother? I can do better than that. Hold on. <clears throat> <clears throat> How are you feeling today, my dear brother? Lundgren, you, you fiend. Your granddaughter is dead by now, and soon you will join her. Lindus, why did this happen? I, I only wanted to see her once. Have you lost all hope? Has your life lost all meaning? Then hurry up and die, you miserable old dotard. You and your precious granddaughter are in my way. I curse your name. I despise you. My worthless wretch of a brother. Ugh. Those words don't feel good in my mouth. General Eagler has been defeated. Lynn and her band draw ever nearer to Castle Kaelin. With the castle walls, Lynn's bitter enemy, Lundgren, awaits. A man who would kill his own kin for a throne. 
He is the source of all her troubles. He must be stopped. That's gonna be it for the episode, though. Uh, it, it's, it's throwing me in. Wow, did I save already and just... I, I missed it? I missed it, didn't I? Uh, <laughs> a lot of stuff happened this episode. Uh, it, was, it was fun. Okay, stopping it here. We're not reading the text. Uh, my profound thanks for watching. As always, I appreciate your time. You know what to do if you enjoyed the video. Next time you can expect us to finally take Castle Kaelin and reclaim our throne and save our grandfather. Catch you next time. Peace.